And I guess there's a hypnotist coming. I actually thought he was going to be next. Welcome, 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 and thanks so much for joining us today. You know, today we're going to meet some people in this studio audience who are going to do some things today that they never thought they could do or they never thought they would do. And we're going to get them to do those things with the help of world-renowned, the most incredible person in this genre that we have, hypnotist Mr. Boris to the show, the incredible Boris. Our next guest has performed feats of hypnotism across Canada and the United States. Please welcome the incredible Boris. Okay, now Boris is out there picking volunteers, and what they don't know is there's going to be a segment where they'll be hypnotized and you'll be entertained, but he's also going to hypnotize a group of people to sit in, that are just happen to be in the audience, and in the opening of the show, whenever I or anybody throughout the show says the word hooky lao, they are going to do something wacky. And you got a, a little hook you're working on today. Uh, yes, a little one. It's the hooky lao. Yeah. <laughs> And let it stick in number six is back in your mind now. Six, 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 Hey, Captain, just out of curiosity, how many times have you actually been on this very trip? 10,000. That's quite a bit. And did anyone ever die under your command? Lots. Half the boat is filled with tourists, people who do not speak a word of English. And luckily enough, we brought the translator on board. The person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, let it sink in, you have learned every language available. Your last job before this one was translating for the United Nations. So why don't you tell the Japanese people to row? Like, oh! Oh! And while you're at it, don't forget the Italians. Pormajou. And the Russians. Sergei. Because the waves are picking up more and more. They're now 20 and 30 foot high. They can put up and down. Up! And down. And all of you know that the Colorado River flows directly into uh, 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 the Niagara River. Which of course is famous for Niagara. It's a big, big... At the end of the Niagara River, there's Niagara... Yes. Niagara Falls. You're absolutely right. And you can actually see Niagara Falls right up ahead. You can see someone in a barrel going over the falls. You can hear them screaming. <laughs> Which of course in Japanese means... Oh! Oh! And Captain, we are going to be next. What do we do now, Captain? Which way should we row? Backwards! So we got uh, your name, I'm sorry, was... Kevin. Kevin, great to have you up here, Kevin. It is such a pleasure. I really... Please. I, I, I'm just uh, trying to get acquainted with people. Uh, my name's Boris. Hi, Boris. Great to... Please, please. So... I, I'm just trying to make sure everybody's having a, a, a good time. When I wake you up in just a second, your name will no longer be Kevin. For the duration of the show, your name will be no other than Chip. C-H-I-P, Chip. Let it sink in. You will be very proud of your name. However, at any point in time throughout the show that I forget your name, you'll get more and more upset with me about the fact that I cannot remember such an easy name as Chip. C-H-I-P. You were going to introduce yourself. Go ahead, please. Hi, I'm Chip. Excellent. Great to have you here. Just go like this. Now put them together. Chip. Your name? Andre. Andre. What a beautiful name. And of course, ha ha ha. <laughs> Chip. Why is that so hard? Chip! All right, all right. I can't remember his name no matter how much I try. This friggin' Chip! <laughs> 